there everyone, this is Lilith Eccles with another video for Altenew and today I'll be using the Big World stamp and die set and I've also picked out three inks, I'll only be using two of them the Moon Rock and the Evening Grey I'll also be using some of their new washi tape and this time it will be the silver so here you can see all the papers and the little bits and bobs which I've picked out and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp um, my globe and I've picked out one of the stamps just inking that up with the moon rock stamping that onto some smooth cardstock and you can see how crisp the image is and I'm just going to cut that out. At the same time I cut out the uh, the base in white and also the word world in some um, silver paper. So I wanted to create a layout with a lot of layers and usually I like to have lots of white space on my layout. This layout will also have white space but will have a lot more layers and a lot more colors and patterns than usual and I'm sticking with uh, three colors a kind of uh, lovely red but it's not a harsh red it's a, a subtle red uh, some light blue gray and then this kind of uh, taupe color and here I'm just playing around with all the little bits just creating uh, fun little elements in the corner to create a bit of flow and this might take a little bit of time it usually it's the, the place where I fiddle around a little bit just to add a little bit of uh, interest to the cardstock I'm using uh, to uh, back my photo onto I'm just going to stamp a couple of the same images onto that using some lighter and some darker colors creating my own kind of pattern paper in some way it just adds a little bit of interest and texture to the layout as well so now that I've got all my base elements uh, placed out, I'm just going to glue them all down and then I can work from that. So here I'm just adding a bit of glue to the bottom. I do want to create a little bit of uh, dimension, so I'm just adding a couple of foam dots beneath the paper just to make the sides pop off and I'm just going over the edges with my fingers slightly as well just to curl them up a little bit. And then I'm going to start uh, gluing down all the elements. I like using foam dots instead of glue just makes everything pop off the page. Uh, don't be afraid to add dimension you can still easily add the pages into page protectors. I had some old labels lying around and I thought it would be nice just to cut up all those lines with the little elements like the washi tape as well as the labels. I really love this new washi tape or this glitter tape from uh, Altenew. It is really very sturdy and glittery and I really love it. So here I'm just adding a couple of elements just to the side. This also helps ground the page a little bit and it acts as a starting point. So your eye will be drawn towards the bottom and then over the layout to the top and you'll see I will add a little element to the top as well. I'm just going to glue down the little world letter. There we go. I still have to finish off my title and I want it to be You Are My World. So that I'm going to stamp that part, oh no it's your, you color my world, sorry. I'm just going to stamp that onto some white paper and I thought I would be using a little label but the label is just too big. As you can see it doesn't really fit onto my page so I just cut it down. This is part of the creative process, it's just fiddling around a little bit with it. I really like the idea of putting it onto the world so I'm just going to ink that up so that it pops off the layout. And here I'm just using some of the ink from Altenew as well. And there you go. It pops off really nicely like that. I'm just going to add a couple of elements to the bottom and to the top. I'll also be adding a little bit of uh, mist. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comment section. Uh, see you.
very, very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.